Hello, looking against at laws, so much so much stuff on laws, this time looking globally, not just at the UK. Now, you don't need to know about things in loads of detail because knowing the legislation of every country would be impossible because you know, learning about the UK's laws is hard enough. It takes years and years and years training to become a lawyer, let alone every country, because every country, of course, has its own set of legislation. But also the main things are similar, but there are lots of differences, lots of changes between countries even next door to each other. But having said that, nowadays we have got a few kind of wider organisations of countries where they set legislation centrally. So the EU being the main example I can think of where each each country has its own laws but the EU also sets laws across all of its member states and if, up until a few years ago the UK was involved in that too but we're not anymore. So a big example of the, uh, EU law is GDPR which is really the EU's version of the Data Protection Act we looked at. So I think it's maybe stating the obvious a bit, but if you are operating in a country, if you've got a global company, you need to make sure you're following each piece of legislation in that individual company. Sometimes you can get away with certain things by basing yourself in another country. So for example, lots of companies working in the UK are based in Ireland or Luxembourg because they pay less tax and so it's better for that company, but there are still certain UK laws that you have to follow. So that is a big downside of going internationally, you've got to spend a lot more money on lawyers and trying to figure out what laws you need to be complying with. Looking more at data protection specifically, well not every country even has laws on data protection. So some countries don't require companies to have things like cybersecurity. So some are really, really relaxed. Some do have laws, but the UK government consider these to be inadequate. Inadequate meaning they're not good enough. They don't provide enough protection. So the UK, the EU are considered quite strict. They've got adequate laws, but some countries don't. And another condition of the UK which can restrict companies is that personal data from the UK should not be transferred to countries with inadequate legislation. And this map, which I'll link in the description, shows how different countries have been classified by the EU, is what this is, although the EU and the UK are quite similar in terms of their legislation, because the UK used to be in the EU. Well, the kind of dark green, uh, dark green, uh, dark blue countries have got fine data protection, you can transfer stuff. So for example, you'd be able to transfer something, you'd be able to be in the UK, and transfer files to France without being fined by the, US, uh, by the ICO. But because the US is kind of not considered particularly adequate with their protection, actually you can't just easily transfer stuff from the UK to the US unless there are safeguards in action. So it costs you a lot more to transfer to the US than it would to say France or Germany or Spain because they've got better protection. Some countries have got no real laws on data protection and so it would be illegal to transfer data there because it would just offer no protection to the individual people. And that's the purpose of these laws is to try to protect individual people and their data. And the last thing to mention is more of a specific, it's not a law, but a specific piece of guidance which you need to know about. This is the UNCRPD, which I'm afraid is another acronym you should know. This stands for United Nations Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. So a bit of a mouthful. The UN, as you might know, is a, a worldwide organisation. Most countries in the world are part of this group. They meet and argue about stuff and eventually they will agree certain, not laws, but certain regulations. So this particular piece of guidance really sets out that access to information and the internet is a human right. So they added accessing information, the internet, to the list of human rights, which is kind of crazy when you think about it, but that's what they agreed a few years ago. And the key, I mean, as the name suggests, it's about disabilities, the key kind of takeaway from this was, well, because everyone deserves to have access to this as humans, well, if you've got a disability, you should also have access to this. And so, as organisations, you should provide people with disabilities accessibility features. So these are features to help people with disabilities be able to access the information. In the same way that 
you know, for a physical disability, if somebody has a wheelchair, there should be lifts and wheelchair ramps and things like that. This is about things on a computer, things like screen readers, where the software is able to read out the text on the screen. So you should provide this as a feature, ideally. Another possible thing you might want to do is if you are designing a web page, provide alternative text on images. So there is an alt attribute to an image tag when you put an image on a website, which lets you specify what it is. You don't have to do this, but if you say, okay, well, this image is of a computer on a desk, most people can't see that, but if you are using a screen reader, it would be able to read that out and so the person would know what the image is. These are both for people who are blind. For people who are deaf, you might want to provide subtitles so they can read what people are saying on a video, for example. And if you were not blind but had issues with seeing, you may be partially sighted, being able to magnify and increase the size of fonts might be useful for those people. So this guidance doesn't make you do any of these things, but it says that you should, and lots of countries agree to this. And so here are some suggestions of things which you might want to do to become a bit more um, friendly with this piece of regulation.